guys, it's Kat. So today I have another really quick and simple layout to share with you. Um, I've been doing a lot of these lately. I'm not really sure if it's a phase that I'm going through or what, but I really like how it turned out. So I thought I would share it. Um, this is a photo of me and my son, Justin, when he was little and we had just moved to Virginia uh, from Florida to be with my new husband who was in the Navy at the time or my ex-husband who was my new husband at the time <laughs> so I'm just going through my little box of frames and overlays and stuff and I'm looking for I was looking for a frame to go around my photo but I couldn't find one because it's an odd size so I chose another frame a pink one and I just decided to back it with pattern paper and make my own little pretty frame so I did that and then I think I kept looking for a while but then I just gave up on the idea because I realized hey this is a w odd size you're not gonna find one that fits <laughs> so then there was this sheet of cut aparts so I decided to cut some of those apart because there was one in there that I really liked and it says love you and it was the perfect size so I just decided to put that above the little frame and to the right of my photo and then I have these little flowers from the pebbles family ties collection that's what this this collection is by the way it's the family I think it's family ties um, but it's by pebbles so I put one of those flowers on the frame and now I'm just gonna glue these things down and I wanted to leave a lot of space around the photo for this layout um, that's why I put it up at the top left I just felt like I don't usually do those kinds of layouts and I thought this might be a chance for me to do something different so I found these two little stickers and one says life is good and the other one says happy day so I put those in the little frame and then I stamped this little camera on a circle sticker from Woodland Park and I don't know if I ended up using it or not I stamped another one that says smile and I don't yeah, I did use them. I think I put them together and used them, if I remember correctly. I did a little bit of stamping on this layout, which is always fun for me because I love to stamp. So this one says, love this photo or heart this photo. And what am I doing now? I hate when I forget to zoom out. Oh, there was this banner sticker in the sticker book, so I just chose that and put that over the left corner of the photo which added some color and just another element so now I'm getting out my hero arts brush strokes stamp set which is one of my favorites and I rediscovered it a little bit ago so I've used it on a couple layouts now and I use the heart and then I'm gonna use one of the splatters and an arrow from that set and I'm using memento Lux. Um, I think it's Danube Danube, Danube blue. I don't know how you say it, but it's the blue. <laughs> so I put the heart and then the arrow, and now I'm going to do another little um, saying that says family. It's like a little tab. And then up at the top right, I'm going to stamp another saying, and I can't remember what it says. Let's see if I can see it. Nope, and I'm not in the right room to go look, so I'm not sure what that says, but you'll be able to see in the close-up. So now I'm taking the two little stickers that I stamped, the camera and the smile, and I'm just going to put those together to make a little embellishment for the bottom right-hand corner. And sooner or later, I'm going to stamp those splatters. I really liked all the little stickers. They were really cute for this collection. So I put the heart in the middle of the camera. Little heart sticker. And now I'm stamping my big splatters. I sure love that stamp. And now I've got some enamel dots and that's basically my layout. So that's how quick and simple it was. I did my journaling over on the right hand side and that's it. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.